Roxy. I believe in self-care, but some of our talks about self-love is really narcissism. We are, we, we doing that to an extreme. We so self-love, we selfish. Some of that is a guise of demonic influence. And I'm not against self-love, but we got self-love everywhere to the point of don't think about nobody else except yourself. And the scripture tells us in the end time, people will be what? Lovers of themselves. Some of that self-love is unhealthy. They don't, that's, too, that's too real for them. I didn't say all. I said, watch the word. Some of that self-love talk is making people all about themselves. In the last days, Paul says, men will be lovers of themselves. Lovers of money. People will have forms of godliness and denying the power thereof. Don't want nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. Don't want nothing to do with biblical teaching. In the last days, there will be a famine for the preaching of the word of God. In the last days, there will be famine for the preaching of the word of God. Why? Because in the last days, people will keep up for themselves preachers. Because of their itching ears, we just want to keep sitting in rooms and in Zooms and in chat rooms and in conferences where we like to listen to people that make us feel extra good about ourselves. We want to be told every week we're awesome. We don't want to be confronted about sin. We want to be told that we can have Jesus and licentiousness at the same time. And as long as there are people with itching ears, there will always be a marketplace for the false prophet. Repeat, Philip Anthony Mitchell. As long as we have a desire to be told we're awesome, there will always be a marketplace for the false prophet. And you know what else is coming in the last days? We see it right now. Conflict. Vehement hatred against Jesus and the people of God. Don't you not see that brewing right now all around you? All around us on social media, see how people are being vicious against the word Jesus. Vicious against the people of God. Man, it seems like I can't make not one post without a gang of trolls coming up on my page. It's like every single week now, it don't matter what I say. And it's only the... Thank God for a godly wife. Yo, dap me up. 